Hello, dear friends. Chef to the Self is with you again. I'm Jim Davis, and our cameraman, director, inspirator of the whole project, Svetlana Davis, is behind the camera. Hello. You know, guys, during this hot summer day, you will need something refreshing, light, delightful, crisp, and it seems to me we've got an answer to this. That is why I would like to invite you to the trip in the time machine, back to the time of the Soviet Union, in a small Russian kitchen where this recipe derives from. The name of this recipe is, uh, in Russian, is uh, cabbage provolsal. Why? Nobody knows. We ask a lot of people, but nobody knows. But I can assure you guys, it has nothing to do with uh, Provence and France. Basically, this recipe is a marinated cabbage, lightly marinated cabbage, which is loved because it's very easy to cook, it takes very little time to prepare, and it's tasty. It could be eaten as a separate dish itself, or it could be a lovely side dish. Let me introduce to the ingredients. We've got some cabbage, one red pepper, medium carrot, half onion, salt, sugar, olive oil, water and vinegar. That's all. The exact amount of the ingredients you can see here in the description. Okay guys, let's cut our vegetables. We'll start with cabbage. You know, guys, you can slice this cabbage the way you like it. I prefer chop it in medium-sized cubes because it's easier to eat. But generally speaking, if you don't want mess mess up with cutting, you pressed by time, you can buy a cool slow mix in the supermarket and it's, it will facilitate your task, uh, task greatly. We're done with cabbage, now it's turn for onions. Also, guys, cut it the way you like it. And you place them separately from the cabbage? Absolutely. Why? Because, first of all, we need to wilt cabbage and then we'll add adding ingredients, other vegetables. Now we slice pepper. Okay, all vegetable, vegetables except cabbage we can put in one dish. Now we need to shred our carrot. Roughly. Now, guys, let's prepare marinade for our cabbage. So we need sugar, water, vinegar, and olive oil. Let's mix it together to dissolve sugar. Well guys, let's set it aside. Sugar will dissolve completely and now we'll take care of our cabbage. We need to lightly wilt it. I put salt here and start mixing it together. Usually it takes three, four, five minutes See guys, it starts releasing liquid, so it's ready to add some other vegetables. So we'll do this. And mix it again. Finally, the last operation. We put our marinade or our cabbage. Mix it once again and pour all over our cabbage.
Let's mix it again. And then we will cover it with a plate like this and put weight. I'm using just normal jar jar with water. So we'll really we'll leave it on the counter at the room temperature for four five hours and our cabbage will be ready. Well guys five hours have passed and we've got our ready cabbage. We already put it in the jar and look at the, how beautiful it is. Look how much liquid it released. That's not only cabbage. All the vegetables did it. And now Let's try it. Let's put it in this little cup. Now it's enough. And you know guys, I want to try it. I want to really try it, how it turn out. Marbles. Sorry about it. So good. So refreshing. So crisp. And now our pairing suggestions. We suggest Italian sausages, roasted potatoes, and as a very nice addition, our cabbage. And of course, I believe that these sausages and cabbage will go very well with this cold, nice beer. Guys, thank you very much for being with us. You know what? We gave you this recipe, but please, be chefs to yourself. Play with it, change it to your taste, and you're gonna love it. To your hell, guys. Thank you for being with us. And we'll see each other again soon. Bye now.